another adjustment to the process. Wire from the switch to the plug is too short. I don't have enough extra length in, this, in the wire to reach back to where the motor is and give it enough room to move. So that means I'm going to have to rewire the motor switch. Another step in a long process. Well, this is a perfect time to change out the wires and put a grounded plug on the lathe. So the first thing I do is I make a sketch of the wiring. Three lugs on either side. One, two, three. One, two, three. The way the motor reverses is to switch the windings in the motor to an opposite phase. And the way they do that is by tying these two wires together and these two wires together to that one and vice versa. Now the wiring is color coded after a fashion. Not exactly perfectly color coded. I found that numbering the lugs makes it easier for later notation. There's really no method for it. I just pick six numbers and place them onto the different lugs depending on how I want to do it at the time. Usually I start at the upper left and work my way down and then go down, go to the upper right and work my way down just from practice. Matter of habit. Top right, brown wire. Top right, brown wire, middle right, white wire. I'm going to separate these wires down here so I get a better chance at deciding which one's what. Because these two are the power leg. This antique friction tape is gummy. Because this knife is very sharp. Of course after this, I don't think it will be anymore. Bottom right, black from the power cable. Then I have the white wire from the power cable, the neutral.
green, red, and blue. Uh, good time to clean up the switch too. Won't hurt to put a connector on the bottom so that I can actually get the wires where they belong. Now this cable has six wires in it. So that means I'm either going to have to run two cables back to the switch or find something with six wires in it. I need to take off this tape. Cable actually has eight wires in it, and they're very small wires. I think I'm going to increase the size of this thing. I know it's only a quarter horsepower motor, but I don't think 18 gauge wire is enough. Let's see what size the wire really is. Use an impromptu wire gauge. That's number 18 wire. That's pretty small. Power cord's number 16. The wires to the motor are number 18. These wires are number 18. That's the wires that fed the motor. The wires that plugged into the wall are number 16. It's only a quarter horsepower motor. But Number 18 wire is going to be kind of small to feed current to it, especially something that's going to pull the kind of draw that a lathe motor does. What happens when you end up with a motor not getting enough power through the wire because the wire is too small? The motor tends to overheat. And if you recall the wiring that I did on the motor itself, the wires inside the motor, the armatures and the connecting, were kind of overheated. So I increased the size of the connections inside the motor. Now I'm going to increase the size of this cable. I'm sure they thought it was clever as hell to route the wires through that little hole in the base. Made it so that that switch mount was right there handy and everything worked good. But I'm going to route them around the side of the foot. That four inches uh, is not going to make a whole hill of beans difference and it will let me increase the size of this cable to the point where it's useful. Mark this drawing switch.
mark this one plug. The plug has eight lugs in it and eight locations. We're only using six of them. Numbering system is backwards on theirs to what I normally do. the same color code and same wiring diagram because when I wired up the motor I'm wired the motor to fit this plug so now we get to set up the soldering system and unsolder all these connections and then solder a new wire on but before I do that I think I'm gonna hunt up a new piece of wire Whenever I disassemble something, especially if it has a lot of little parts, I take the little parts and I put them in a sandwich bag. That way they all stay together. And I can use them again when I reassemble it. 